Hello and welcome to a video from filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. I'm Chris with a K. I hope you're having a great day. And today we're going to be modifying files inside compressed files without uncompressing them. So, example, I'm in a directory here. I have a tar gzip file that has a directory with subdirectories and files in it. It's basically just a, a Godot project that I tarred up for this uh, um, demonstration. And uh, yeah, let's say I want to add some text files in there. Uh, I don't want to extract it if I don't have to. Well, Vim has got you covered. All you have to do is point Vim to that compressed directory. And this works with a number of different formats. Tar files, GZ files, tar GZ files, uh, zip files, and other formats as well. Uh, but we just point Vim to that compressed file. It gives you a list of files that are inside that archive. So let's say I want to open up this readme file. I just find it, I hit enter, this is the readme file. I can come in here, I type in, this is a test. I save that file like I normally would. I can go in, I can edit a different file if I wanted to. Let's go ahead and go to the license file. And in here I can just say test save and quit out of that and then I can just quit out of this like normal and that file has now been modified if I was to open up that tar gz file again and open up the license file which you can now notice is at the end of the file because they are the newest files they've been updated I click on that you can see the change is still there from test I can go up into the readme file and you can see the this is a test so that is how you can edit compressed files without decompressing them Vim is a useful tool. I recommend you check it out, as well as checking out filmsbychris.com. Again, that's Chris with the K. There's a link in the description there. You can search through all my videos. I also have a Patreon page. That's patreon.com forward slash metalx1000. Or if you went to filmsbychris.com, you can go to the support section. There's a link to there. There's a link to my Libre Pay, uh, PayPal. If you can't support me those ways, think about liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. As always, I hope that you have a great day.